Speaking with us today is Dr. Julia Ghali from the University of Chicago. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Ghali. And congratulations on being named the recipient of the 2018 MRS Materials Theory Award. Thank you very much. Big honor for me. Now, your award citation reads for the development of advanced first principle simulation methods and their application to the understanding, prediction, and design of complex nanostructured materials. Tell us a little bit about your work. So my work focuses on the development of methods to simulate matter and the atomistic scale. So we start really from the constituents of matter, uh, electron and ions, and we try to understand the properties uh, uh, of matter, and we develop methods to simulate the properties of matter you know, computationally. And one of the big applications that we have targeted in the, in, you know, in the last 10 or 15 years are nanostructures, quantum dots, and I would say in general, heterogeneous materials that present a lot of nanostructuring at the atomistic scale. And one of uh, the things that we have always tried to do is to make a connection between our theory and computation and experiments. Now your work embodies two of the hottest topics, especially at this meeting, quantum materials and machine learning. What are the potential impacts on materials research as these fields are developed even further? I really care a lot about uh, uh, you know, quantum material and quantum information. And we have a, uh, a big center, a Chicago Quantum Exchange, and big project with the experimentalists. And I think that there, our theory and methods at the atomistic scale will make a difference to identify, for example, defects in uh, semiconductors that can be optically addressed and used as qubits for quantum computation and quantum sensing. Now, machine learning, I think, will be impacting material science because as we acquire more data, both experimentally and computationally, we will use this data to come up you know, with the machine learning algorithm to extract the scriptors, what really matters, and uh, uh, you know, what is important to describe materials. Uh, although uh, uh, my uh, research uh, is only entering the machine learning fields as we speak. Uh, we gotcha. haven't, yeah, we aren't experts yet. Hopefully, we will be. <laughs> yeah, not yet, but you will be. <laughs> and speaking of the yet part, what is next? What are you working on in the near future? We are working on two main fields, I would say. One is quantum information science, as right. I mentioned. Uh, and the other, we continue to work on materials for energy, materials for photoelectrochemical cells and material for the uh, um, uh, thermal energy, the conversion of thermal energy. And uh, once more, I would like to say that uh, the impact of our method is really uh, the best in impact that we can possibly have when we work in collaboration with experiments. And so what I'm working next at is uh, to strengthen the collaboration with experimentalists uh, and to make it more automatic so that we can compare uh, uh, more quickly with experiment and take advantage of what we learn from experiment to uh, improve our theory and computation. Now, what do you see as some of the challenges then going forward? So one challenge is, we always talk about big data, but in our field, uh, we are not yet able to acquire as many data as we would need to really do machine learning in an impactful way. So first challenge is uh, to be able to have our method be more efficient so that we can acquire many more data that we have. And then also to improve the accuracy of our theory, especially when it comes to uh, understanding uh, you know, coherence, for example, spin coherence in materials for quantum information. Dr. Ghali, thank you for your time. It was great to meet you. Great to meet you too, thank you very much.